Right, Kelly. Well, our coverage continues on vaccine rollout happening across the Mid-South. Joining me right now to talk more about the vaccine is Dr. Jillian Foster, Administrator of Pharmacy for Baptist Memorial Healthcare. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Foster. Now, the, you. Now the Pfizer vaccine is actually quite effective, right? Yes. There's a lot of excitement around this vaccine, and there should be. The Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine was shown to be greater than 90% effectiveness in the studies compared to those that did not receive the vaccine. So very encouraging news, yes. Now, what about side effects? The most common side effects of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine are headache and fatigue. The Pfizer vaccine is a two-dose vaccine. The doses are given three weeks apart. And so we know that 10 to 15% of those in the study did experience achiness up to a day after the first and second dose. It's important for people not to get discouraged about that. That is a normal immune response, but certainly to, to watch out for. Okay, so, so which hospitals are getting the vaccine this week? This week, our Baptist DeSoto Hospital, Mississippi Baptist Medical Center, one of our locations in Jackson, Mississippi did, and NEA Baptist in Jonesboro, Arkansas did as well. Later this week, Baptist Memphis will, and we are also hopeful that our um, facility in West Memphis, Arkansas, Crittenden will as well. So what, what early idea do you have of how the vaccine will be administered? I'm sorry? Of how the vaccine will be administered? Yes, we will follow the CDC and the State Departments of Health guidelines on how we uh, roll out our vaccine plans while the supply is limited. Uh, we, of course, are trying to get the vaccine to our employees that work directly with patients. We look forward to a time as the supply increases to offer that, of course, to all of our employees and then look forward to a time where we can get the community as well. All right. And what if someone has already had COVID-19? Should they still get the vaccine? Yes, yeah, someone that has already had COVID-19 um, could get the vaccine here in the early days, again, while the supply is low. If someone has had COVID-19 in the last days, they're likely still carrying antibody. And so may want to wait um, until the 90 days has passed and let others get the vaccine first. Um, but certainly they could get it um, later on. All right. What about tracking? Can you track whoever gets the vaccine? If so, how? Yes. Um, the states have a vaccine registry program. We will document in that um, system. It'll be very important for providers to understand when someone did get the vaccine, the date, and which manufacturer they did receive. It's important to schedule the second series dose uh, with the Pfizer vaccine three weeks later. And as more vaccines are approved, it will be important for us to know which manufacturer they did get the first dose and match that to the second dose. So those registries and that, that data will be very important. Okay, so um, we've heard a lot about herd immunity. How many people need to take the vaccine to get to herd immunity or stop community spread? Yeah, I think we're upper 50, maybe even 70%. So we're really wanting to provide education to our employees, to the community, effectiveness and the safety of the vaccine. Um, it's really, really hopeful um, for us to, to see a lot of people. Um. All right. That's Dr. Jillian Foster with Baptist Memorial Healthcare. We certainly appreciate the work you're doing for the community and appreciate you taking time out of what I'm sure is a very busy schedule to speak with us today. Thanks again. Thank you. Well, WMC Action News 5 is bringing you 24-7 coverage of the COVID-19 vaccine distribution. Stay with us on air and on our digital platforms for live reports throughout the day and the information you need to understand how this process is happening.